presented here, Speaker of the Lok Sabha, esteemed dignitaries, participants from the schools, colleges, and other higher education institutions. A very good morning to all of you. Myself, Devendra Ragula. I come from Odisha. I'm pursuing research in the Department of Mass Communication and Journalism, Central University of Odisha. Today, India is celebrating 126th birth anniversary of fiery freedom fighter, the nationalist, Sri Netaji Subhash Chandra Bos. At the outset, I wish all the Indians a very, a very happy Parakram Divas and my respectful tributes to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bos on his 126th birth anniversary. Whenever we hear the name Netaji Subhash Chandra Bos, wherever we are, and in any situation, we get enormous strength. Words are not enough to describe such a great personality. It takes many births for us to, to think with, with a far vision like Netaji. Subhash Chandra Bose was a dynamic personality, great freedom fighter and patriot whose role in India's freedom struggle is instrumental. He inspired thousands of people to join Indian freedom struggle and he also shaped the future of India through his moral, political and social commitments. I feel touched by one of his decisions taken in the year 1921. That is, he, when, when, when he was selected for Indian civil services in England, he did not join. He resigned straightforwardly. And later on, he moved to India to become a brave, youthful, and legendary freedom fighter in India. For Netaji, he considered India's freedom as his topmost priority over his white collar first class Indian civil service job. So that you know that should be the you know the thinking of every Indian when it comes to the nation's interest. But unfortunately, in today's world, everyone is looking for good salary, you know, riskless life, and you know, secured job. No, the youth of this country should change this kind of mindset and should contribute for the betterment of Bharat. And no country should forget its glorious past. Again, unfortunately, this Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was forgotten after India's independence. His name and the symbols associated with him were ignored. However, under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, we are celebrating each and every day which is associated with great freedom fighters of our India. We should very much thankful to our Prime Minister Narendra Modi sir. And now, with this I would like to state, it's now our turn to take our country to the next level with a strong and uncompromising vision. So Subha Chandra Bose has done so many things for us. Now how, 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 how can we show, show India's indebtedness to Netaji Subha Chandra Bose? First thing is that youth of our country is a greater strength to bring any kind of positive change. First thing is that we should learn, all the youth of our country should learn the vision of Netaji and the ideology of Netaji and how he fought for the independence of the country. Second thing is that history, history of Netaji should be included in all the history books and we should read all the history and you know, you know, uh, history books 
which briefly tells us about the stories. Thank you, thank you so much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Netaji.